New Orleans is visiting Houston. The Houston Texans are one and a half point underdogs. Um, CJ Stroud looked great the other day and uh, in, in bringing the team back. He didn't look great for three and a half quarters. And then he looked like a guy who knows what he's doing. New Orleans blew out Bill Belichick and the Patriots. To me, that was a smash spot. You sort of could see that coming. Um, it's a tough one for me. Yeah, it's. I shouldn't. It's I not shouldn't obvious. say this. See, if, to me, it is really obvious where it shouldn't be, but it is. It's you're back in a Saints veteran defense against the rookie quarterback. Like this kid, once again, he's been playing out of the world, but every week you're getting more tape on him, and every week it's going to get a little tougher for CJ. Teams are going to take away what he likes to do. Here comes the Saints. Like the Saints offense, I have no faith in. Even after that New England game, I still. Have a lot of questions right now about Derek Carr. I just I don't know if he's fully healthy after taking that shoulder injury a couple of weeks ago. So um, if you're like me and you want to back the Saints, you're just you're back in this veteran defense against this rookie QB. But I totally get it if you're coming on Houston. I know a really sharp group that came in on Houston. I believe this number is three plus two and a half when it opened. They came in now it's just stuck at one and a half. So um, it's another week of pros are on both sides. Like there's guys like me who really like the Saints team. Believe in this defense. And then there's the other side of the ball where it's like CJ has performed well against really good defenses all season. Like this guy's played well in every game. And, you know, I, I want to get there with him, but the, the line to me has just moved too much. Like we're, we're getting the Saints now at minus one and a half against this Houston team. I just, I, I, I don't want to say it feels like I'm a little crazy, but it does when I'm talking to people. They're just like, well, you got to take Houston here. It's like, do we really? Like, is this really. We're just going to keep buying high on this Houston team after they just keep covering every week. So, um, yeah, in an ideal world, this number would have been three and I could have been on Houston, but it's it's moved too much. I'll, I'll just take the value on the Saints team that basically they just need to win this game to cover this number. You're never going to survive <laughs> unless you get a little crazy. Um, Dennis Allen continues to be one of the worst coaches in the past 20 years. No, they, they're just he, – he runs a good scheme. I agree with you. Like, it's the same thing as Josh McDaniels last night. That guy is such a fucking idiot. Like, he might be a great offensive coordinator. That dude cannot coach. He does not know how to use his timeouts, anything like that. You're right there. You're saying, like, I agree with you totally about Dennis Allen. The guy makes such stupid head coaching decisions all the time. But defensively, he's he's a genius. Like, his defenses are so good every week. They come prepared and they just they scheme up so well against whoever they're playing against. I mean, I think the best game, the worst game they've had this year was against Baker in that offense. And that was just because it was never any short fields. Like every time his defense got on the field, the ball was already in their zone. So um I, I, I could be having a big miss here. You're right, Chad. Like I'm probably putting a little too much faith into this defense here, but I gotta take him in this defense against this rookie QB. Yeah, 